but having just gotten the Goulet pen flush, syringe, and blower, I'm assuming you mean the bulb syringe, um, how best to clean and refill a piston filled pen? I know how to use the cleaning stuff with the twist converters, but I have several piston types where I can't see the contents of the barrel or inkwell. Um, yes, when you're using a piston fill pen like this here, I've got a Twisby 580 all. So when you're using a piston fill pen like this, it's essentially the same concept as a twist converter, except the converter part, the twist, you know, piston mechanism is built into the pen instead of in a converter, which, oh shoot, I don't even like have one around here. Do I have one? Hang on, give me a second. Yeah, here we go. So a converter like I have in this, you know, um, vanishing point uh, is the same kind of concept, right? So you've got a twist piston that moves up and down, except on the Twisby it's built in because it's a piston mechanism. So it's a very similar kind of thing, but they call this a converter because you can accept cartridges or a converter for bottled ink into this pen. So it's really easy when you're cleaning a pen with a converter because you can just remove the converter, clean that on its own, but then you can take something like a bulb syringe, you can stick it in the back and flush this thing straight through. You get like one bulb syringe's worth of water and flush it through here and the sucker's gonna be clean. It's gonna take like 10 seconds. It's glorious. It's like the best trick I've ever discovered with fountain pens right there. But with a piston, you can't really do that because the thing's all built in. There's no like converter thing to be able to pull out of there. So there's a couple different options for you. Really the main one is pretty much you just screw and unscrew. You know, you're just moving the piston up and down constantly in the water and it's pushing out water. The problem is you're sucking in dirty water, you're pushing out dirty water, sucking in dirty water, pushing out dirty water. And it's gonna take you a while to really get the thing clean. You know, that's okay if you're gonna be reusing it with the same ink, you're just doing an intermittent cleaning every three or four weeks or whatever to kind of just flush out the gunk. And then you don't have to do like a completely thorough cleaning like you would if you were changing colors. But if you are changing colors, you gotta kind of clean it out. Otherwise your colors are gonna start mixing. It's not gonna be real true. So you gotta clean it out as thoroughly as you can. So there's a couple of different other ways that you could do it. If you have a pen with a removable nib or a removable grip section or something like this Twisby, you can remove it and you can use an ink syringe. Uh, do I have one? Shoot, I started talking about the ink syringe and I have, uh, give me a second. I've got one over here. Yeah. Here we go. So if you've got an ink syringe like so, then you can fill the ink syringe with water. And if you can remove the grip or the nib or whatever on your pen, you can take the syringe and stick it into your pen and then you can flush that out. That is one, one way that you can help with that that keeps you from having a twist and twist and twist and twist and twist. Uh, however, if you can't do that, maybe another option for you if you have a pen like the Twisby, you can actually pull the mechanism out of the back of the pen. So if you've got a Twisby wrench, like so, you just take and unscrew it. You can pull the whole mechanism out. Just leave the mechanism right there where it is. And then you can take your bulb syringe, boom, shoot that water straight through the whole pen with the body and everything, and you're good to go. Essentially what you've done is pull out you know, the piston mechanism like you would have on a converter pen. And then to reassemble it, if you keep the whole thing together, it should be easy to reassemble and then put it back there. Depending on the type of piston pen you have, you may or may not be able to disassemble it like this. And so that might not be an option for you, but either way, those are the three options I have for you. Either twist forever, use a syringe to flush it out if you can pull the nib out, or flush it through the back if you're able to do that. Uh, but also check out the Goulet Pen Flush uh, tutorial video that I have that uh, is something that's going to help you out if you haven't seen that already. 